The man accused of hitting an eight year old boy with his car and then driving away faced a judge for the first time this morning. Chesapeake police arrested 38 year old Richard Humbert yesterday. He's at the city jail charged with felony hit and run. Humbert appeared in court by video today. Police say he hit Forrest Hooper on South Battlefield Boulevard Tuesday and didn't stop. The boy died at the hospital and according to new court documents, Humbert admitted to police that he left the scene but pulled over later to assess the damage to his car. A neighbor sent us this video of police seizing Humbert's white Honda Civic, which you can see has damage to the hood. If convicted, Humbert could get up to 10 years in prison. He'll be back in court next Tuesday for a bond hearing. The community has been rallying around the Hooper family since the crash and Brenna McIntosh joins us now in the studio with more on how they are offering support. Brenna. Nicole, this is a very difficult time for the Hooper family. Forrest was supposed to celebrate his ninth birthday on Monday. This evening, community members signed a birthday card and held a wiffle ball game in honor of Forrest. As families drove into the Southern Chesapeake Athletic Association Friday, they were greeted by this sign reading, Forrest Strong. Eight-year-old Forrest Hooper died in a hit and run on South Battlefield Boulevard Tuesday, not far from the sports complex. I'm just praying for his family, praying for all of his close friends, praying for his teacher. Ashley Harris brought her three children to the sports complex Friday evening, where organizers held a wiffle ball game in honor of the Southeastern Elementary School student. Harris says her daughter also goes to Southeastern and has seen how the loss has impacted her schoolmates. She said, you know, it's really, really hard, especially watching like grown adults get upset. Both parents and children signed a birthday card for Forrest as he was supposed to celebrate his ninth birthday on Monday. Monday is going to be a really, really tough day for a lot of people. Emily Galloway is the president of the Southern Chesapeake Athletic Association. She says she organized tonight's game to support the children who knew Forrest. We're, we're a big family here, and if one of our kids sat on the bus with him, or in a classroom with him. We have teachers from that school. We just knew that the impact would hit here. Galloway is one of several community members holding events in honor of Forrest. This Sunday, Hickory Towing is holding a birthday celebration and fundraiser to support the Hooper family. His name will, will remain out here in everybody's mouth for a while because we want to have some fun and do it for Forrest. Sunday's fundraiser will be held at 1737 South Battlefield Boulevard from noon to 5. PTA members at Southeastern Elementary have also posted on Facebook asking the community to wear Forrest's favorite color, blue, on Monday for his ninth birthday. Nicole, back to you.